Hello, Nicola Kane Cross here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about how AI and ChatGPT can help you market your business if you're an Amazon seller. I was uh, invited to come on a call by Neil Asher, who is the founder of Aussie Online Entrepreneurs just recently, and we were demonstrating and talking about how, how ChatGPT could help his community of about 2,000 Amazon sellers. And between the two of us, we really rocked their boat. <laughs> we really showed them lots of different ways how, how ChatGPT could, um, could really help them with their marketing, really help them write um, great titles for products, how um, it can analyze the best Amazon descriptions and how they could generate lots of new descriptions for all their products in a matter of minutes. We talked about how using um, the image generators could really help them beef up their Amazon descriptions for their products, generating pictures of real life looking people using their products. I want to show you just some of the stuff we shared with them on um, this video today. And I want you to go and have a look at, uh, at Neil on Aussie Online Entrepreneurs on YouTube. He's very funny, very sharp, great businessman. And he doesn't just talk about Amazon. He does occasionally talk about being an entrepreneur and big and success thinking, the kind of things that I cover as well. So go and check out Neil on YouTube, and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, well, here we go. So let me share my screen. So this is the first one I've picked out. It's, um, I'm looking for a cat climbing tower, climbing frame for um, a, la a large, I don't know if it's a large luxury cat, whether it's a large climbing frame. But what I want to do is give um, the chat GPT a description to go on and to work out whether it's a good a good description or not. So I'm going to give you an Amazon product URL and I want you to analyze the description and tell me the different elements included. Can you do that? It was a good idea to ask, bearing in mind that chat GPT is not supposed to be connected to the internet. Well, I must be quite busy at the moment. Okay, so it's going going through the different elements: the title, product images, price. Ah, oh, so it's saying you had a cut off of twenty twenty one. So it's not actually. Um... Interesting. It didn't do that last time I did it. Say so the so obviously people are getting suspicious of it being connected to the internet or not. Okay, all right, so that's, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it another one now. And I'm going to say, here's a second URL. Can you analyse that this one and combine... and compare it to the first. I hope it was there before 2021, otherwise I'm gonna to have to go and scramble around and look for another product. Okay, so it's still analyzing. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's it. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? So the second product is showing us because the second product is actually not as expensive as the first one. 
So it's showing us what um, what it's got. And now it's saying that it's price lower. Interesting. Okay, so there's how you could improve your first product, if that was it. Right. Can you um, can you use these two product descriptions to create a template for the elements of a good Amazon product description. And save it. While it's doing that, I'm just going to go back to Amazon and find another cat oriented product. Okay. Here we go, this one be good. Okay. Now, using the template you have created, and you analyze this product and tell me if anything missing in the description that should be there. Oh, there you go. So it's uh, 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 dimensions not provided. So that's something that could be improved. There we go. So it's making some suggestions about how the description could be even more detailed. Excellent. Now. Can you tell me if the last product analyzed had any elements in the description that should be added to our template? That's misunderstood what I said. Okay. Um, so what you could do then is you could get the template. You could actually feed in the, inf in the information about your product and you could get your product description compared to the template of a good product description. And so you can add to it each time. Every time you do this, you could add to it. So you end up with a really good template for what needs to be included in it, each product description of every product you put on our, up on our Amazon. So based on the, um, let's go with, let's go with the first product. On the first product, the more expensive 
at priming frame. Can you create 10 tweets around this product? Let's make it more than that, 20. So hang on, if we want to do three a day times seven days, 21. And you obviously include a picture of the priority culture cat, cat climbing frame with the tweets. Now we're going to do something quite interesting in a minute. We're going to see if we can create pictures of the of cats on that climbing frame. But look at this! I could never have come up with half of these. So I could, I would have struggled to come up with three. <laughs> it's all using the language like spoiling your cat make your cat the envy of all their feline friends so you can see that that's playing on the luxury element of this um okay let's say can you write a blog post about a cat called fifi who owner has just bought just bought this product include the before and after situation and emotions of the cat called Fifi. This will be a blog post of, let's say, 500 words. Ah. <laughs> he was sceptical, hilarious. <laughs> there we go, the wind in the fur, wind in the fur, perfect. <laughs> Is that it? Is that okay? Oh, hang on. See, look at this you could never you could never write this yourself this is brilliant So this could be used as um, captions for Instagram pictures as well, obviously. And if you are rotating the climbing frame with other products and Fifi with other cats, um, you could, you know, one tweet a day for 21 days. That's You know, you can even do... 
28 tweets. So you've got a whole month's worth of content around the climbing frame and Fifi. Excellent. Okay, very good. Now, can you tell me the top 20 cat toy hashtags? Cat hashtags. Cat and cat toy hashtags to use on Instagram. How how in date these will be because it's is it going to tell us that we it's only up to 21, 2021. Oh, so okay, these are all pretty good. Okay, uh, can you tell me the top 20 influencers on Instagram in the UK? If you were going to reach out and do some influencer marketing, Now they're going to be expensive, these ones. Let's just let me finish. between and let's see if it'll do that orientated one ah you see it did do it that's good There we go. You see, going to be much less expensive and much more grateful for um, any advertising revenue, and will probably be still man still be managing their accounts themselves. So you wouldn't have to go through an agency. Coco Carter says meow. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, can you tell me the top three? influencer agencies for Instagram. You can see how Google and Microsoft are scrambling to bring out their own chat G GPTs as quickly as possible because otherwise the search engines will become completely redundant. Okay, I need to redo this question because it's not specific enough. Pet influencer. Let's say cat. Here we go, look. Dog agency, if you're a general pet person, pet crew, there we go. Oh, 
stopped all exploration with cats. My goodness. So if your product was suitable for cats that go outside, that's marvellous, isn't it? OK, let's um, let's see now if we can make it make pictures of this product. We can't make it. I don't think it would do it here, but we can certainly have a go at um, the AI that does pictures. Let's have a go, shall we? Now, what did it say Fifi was? It's a grey and white tabby, isn't she? OK, so what we want to do is we want to go over to Mid Journey. And Mid Journey is a, an artificial intelligence system that's based on pictures. And let's see, that's it, get rid of that. OK, so what you need to do is you need to go to Mid Journey Bot. OK, so what you do is when you get in, is um, you can see everyone's things being created and you can see what other people so create a photo of a girl wearing a dark heather blank bella canvas t-shirt with no writing so uh you, you the more specific you can get the better your pictures are going to be so i'm going to um you have to do backslash imagine and then it will give you a prompt box so um Create a photo realistic picture of a grey and white tabby cat climbing on this cat climbing frame in a Sunny room. Okay, so I'm putting in the URL of the product and let's see how it does. Someone making a Statue of Liberty up there. Uh, need to direct link to an image, not a web page. Okay. There we go. Copy image address. There we go. So you can see the potential for this if you master it. It's got um, incre incredible potential for you. you know, we've just created a, an imaginary cat called Fifi. And we've given it the product that we want it to be climbing on, looking delighted and happy. And let's just see which one. Uh, and if there's anything you want to change, you can just change the prompt. So if you want it to get more specific, that looks a bit odd. <laughs> That one that looks a bit old. That one's all right. So you just get better and better at using prompts. And you can do in the style of, so if you've got a particular cat, grey and white tabby, you've got in mind, or if you've got a picture of your own grey and white tabby, you could upload that. Um, you just need to learn how to use it. And there are plenty of videos on YouTube showing you how to do it. I haven't spent too much time on this. I've just sort of seen the, the potential and I just wanted to show you that. There are also um, a couple of places where you can get prompts for, in fact, if you go to the, the people on YouTube who are actually showing people how to do things like this, they share um, places where you can download prompts and AI University or something. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up and I'll put the link in the description here. And uh, you download lots and lots of different kinds of prompts. And once you get the hang of writing the prompts properly, both for the words and for the pictures, then you're going to be able to create things that would have taken a graphic designer hours, if not days, and also cost you a fortune. So you can see how much better it is to create your own images and your own descriptions and your own tweets and your own blog posts, all of those things. So I hope you found this useful. And if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the box below. If I can, I'll ask them. I'll answer them. And if I can't, then I'll send you to someone who might be able to. But I just wanted to show you the actual potential for this if you're doing e-commerce products.
especially if you've got products, uh, photos of those e-commerce products yourself, because that would make life an awful lot easier. Well, what do you think of that then, you Amazon sellers? Good, isn't it? So let me let me just remind you that if you are an Amazon seller and you want any mentoring or help at all, and Neil has got a fantastic community at Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. They're not just Aussies and they don't just sell in, in Australia. They cover the world and he, st he just started out there. And they, they, they span the globe now and they sell in every um, territory that Amazon has distribution. So go and check him out. And of course, if you're in any other kind of business, then I can help you through my Clicks and Leads Academy. So do come and see how I, how I can help you find out how ChatGPT and AI can help you in your business marketing. I'll see you next time. Music